Okay, so we're all gathered here. Um, I'm going to talk about Sergeant Brown for a little bit. I hired Sergeant Brown almost two years ago. Is that about right? Yes, sir. And um, I knew right away that there was something special about him. That's part of the reason I hired him. Um, I also hired him because he had a, uh, a, a lot of people that really highly recommended him and said that, hey, this guy is very, very good at what he does and he will uh, be a great addition to your office. And, um, and the interview kind of brought that out in him. I, I realized that he was a, a man of perfection and he's truly lived up to that and probably even more so. And uh, so it's a great honor to be able to promote him. <clears throat> now, for those of you that haven't seen me promote other master sergeants, there's a little bit of history with the rank of master sergeant. You know, for years, it wasn't until the 1950s that the Army came up with the rank of sergeant major. And so the highest rank they had was master sergeant. And the history of that um, was, and it goes back to French history, you had to have a master of sergeants. And so there was a, several meanings to that, one of which uh, is that they mastered the rank of sergeant, and so now they are considered the top sergeant. You know, and hence the nickname we give to first sergeants is top. And uh, uh, also they are, uh, the rank carries the role of being in charge of, of sergeants. And, um, and so there's a lot of responsibility with it and a great deal of of pride because when you become the top or the first sergeant, um, it's uh, it's a big responsibility. It's been my experience for uh, over 30 years that when sergeants get out of control, they only listen to the top sergeant. <laughs> and so, uh, Sergeant Brown now has that uh, responsibility and I have a feeling that he will probably exercise it once we leave here. He mentioned something earlier about that if you were E7 or below, that would, there would be a lot of push-ups in your near future, probably <laughs> as you walk out of this building. That'll be a lot of fun for him until Sergeant Major shows up. But <laughs> anyhow, um, so to not to belabor this anymore, but uh, this I do take a great deal of pride. This will be the third Sergeant First Class I've promoted to Master Sergeant since I've been in this job. So uh, it's either a matter of I work him to death and kick him out, or <laughs> They uh, quickly try to leave, um, or I fire them. I don't know what it is, but it uh, might be a combination of three. But anyhow, he's next in the hopper, and uh, he's replacing another great Master Sergeant, Master Sergeant Bosley. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. So uh, uh, publish your orders. Attention to orders. Orders 124-061, dated 4 May 2015. The Adjutant General of the State of Texas has has uh, reposed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of Sergeant First Class Alfonso Brown. In view of these qualities and his demonstrated potential to increase responsibility, he is therefore promoted to the rank of Master Sergeant with a date of rank of 10 April 2015 by the order of the Adjutant General of Texas, signed Michelle R. Voorhees, Colonel Adjutant. First off, uh, I'd just like to thank God for uh, being here. I uh, came from very humble beginnings, and uh, the military was all I wanted to do since I was 13 years old. So pretty much had a conscious mind of what I wanted to do. So uh, I know that uh, promotions uh, are based off your potential, and I will give you all I got, sir. I know. I know. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to thank everybody who's here I mean, for your support. Uh, we have another ceremony in uh, Fort Worth tomorrow, but uh, you know, I, I, thank, I thank you for the showing. Thank you, Matt Sergeant Featherston. Uh, he's from <laughs> 56, he was with me from 56, so he's okay. up here now. He's the uh, G3 Quarter Source Manager. But uh, he showed me a lot about leadership and about relationships as far as, you know, a leader and uh, his, his soldiers, so I appreciate that. Uh, where is he? Edgar. <laughs> Hey, I, uh, he's, this guy let me live in his house for like a year. Uh, 
Not free, of course, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> pretty much that's here in the family. Uh, so thank you for your support. Sergeant Cole, uh, I'm not going to say a whole lot about, you know, your personal life, but uh, Sergeant Cole worked for me in Iraq, uh, 2009 to 2010. Uh, she is just uh, an outstanding individual, and I uh, appreciate you being here. And uh, just appreciate all y'all support. Master Sergeant Boss, they thank you for uh, just, you know, showing me your perspective. Uh, <laughs> you're real wordsmith, but uh, you, I mean, you also mean well, so... I really appreciate it. Uh, you're an outstanding leader, and I appreciate everything that uh, you've taught me and everything that y'all did for me since I've been down here. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, y'all, there's food over there, so dig in, and thank you. Cool.